what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm JBB. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm so excited. We are going to be unboxing, reviewing, first impressioning, is that a word? Maybe. The new Jaclyn Cosmetics Valentine's Day mystery box. I got the biggest one. So if you are excited to see what's in this box, what my thoughts are on the products, how they work, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm kind of super excited about this. Uh, I have avoided all of everything. I literally have not seen what's inside of it except for what she showed on her story on IG. I've not seen a YouTube video on it. I've not seen an Instagram post. So I'm excited because I really wanted it to kind of be just very my opinion based. I didn't want to watch anything with negative reviews, anything with positive reviews. I just wanted to open it on camera with you guys and give you my personal 100% first impression opinion. And I also just wanted to be surprised so I just got it open I did put on all of my makeup except for the things that are in here my lips I didn't finish my eye look because there's like shimmers or something in here she did say and I also did not put on my highlighter Ooh, uh, it, is, it is really so cute I won't I won't lie this is so cute. It feels kind of heavy. This is the $65 one, which is for the love of makeup. Okay, so let's open her up. <sighs> okay. Oh, oh, this is so pretty. I love how it's packaged, like for real. So I'm gonna show you guys without hopefully spilling it. Look, oh my God. I kind of love it. Like I do really aesthetically love how it looks. I love the red, like the gradient effect that it has. I love the black that they filled it with. I just feel like it's very, this is very, very glamorous, like luxurious. I don't know. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting off of it. So we will go into highlighter because I'm going to put some highlighter on this face. There were two of them. I do know she said that. Twinkle and Flurries. We were not able to see them, but this is white. <laughs> this is white. So I'm a little, little worried about that. I won't lie to you. So this is the Unicarton. I'm going to show you guys up close. Just very cute, very pretty. I think it is definitely, definitely an adorable packaging. I won't lie. This is what it comes in. Okay, so it's it's cardboard, which her last ones were actually very, very nice, like very plastic and sturdy. So I'm a little, I'm a little, I guess, concerned, not really concerned, but I'm questioning why the packaging has become much cheaper, where before it was a very nice thick, if you guys have her um, highlighter palette, it's very thick, it's very like nice. So I got it. But do you see this? Like this is like hardcore, very nice, very expensive luxury feel do you know what I mean like it has just like all of that niceness so this to me because it is like it's just really cheap plastic it kind of is like hmm what happened why did we go that route oh okay so I do like that it has like a little comp like a little mirror in it okay how the heck do I get this out ah it comes with this little plastic piece and I can't get it out oh okay so here's my thing it is white white we're gonna give it a swatch because you guys know how i felt about the avh highlighter because it looked super white but it wasn't it wound up being like a gold cast so this is this is white baby girl this is white oh this is like straight up white so this will not be the one i used today um <laughs> I don't know why she would have chose white. Um, I do like it. It was very creamy, very buttery when I did it. It didn't have like a lot of fallout. It's not thick glitter. Like it had like no fallout. So it is a very nice formula. I can feel it being blended. But um, the, uh, the white highlighter, it's the gray cast for me. Okay, so I don't think that I will use this one. That's the only thing. But I'm thinking that this one, Flurries, is gonna be a nicer um, color for me. I feel like she was trying to do like two different shades to like kind of fit everybody. But, but, it 
feel like she should have told us the shades because I don't want a white highlighter and most people are not going to want a white highlighter. I think the one other company that did a white highlighter was Becca Cosmetics um, and it was like opal and it was super white and I was just like, oh, I hate it so much. So I cannot use a super, super white highlighter because it just doesn't look, it does not look good on my skin at all. We're gonna go into flurries though. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is like a champagne-y color from the looks of it. Ooh. So this color is gonna be my jam. Like this is where it's gonna be for me. It's such a beautiful color. I feel like she could have done this champagne color and then maybe a shade a little bit darker just so she could fit more skin tones. This is stunning. But this is fairly light so I feel like it would fit like medium to fair and then if she did maybe just a shade darker she could get medium to dark but that shade would also kind of work for other people. This white, I'm gonna wanna see people wearing it. I'm gonna try it but honestly I don't do white highlighter and I don't know many people who do white highlighter. I'm sure there are some people who love it. I just, I can't, I don't know why. I just don't like how it looks on my skin. I don't like how it looks in photos, but I do think it's cute. It has a mirror. So we're going to go in with flurries and I'm going to put my highlighter on my face. A lot does pick up on that bra and it doesn't have like any fallout whatsoever. Let's get our little hairs out of the way and we're just going to do do. It's actually not bad. Ooh, it's not bad. I like this. It's very subtle, but also like, oh, okay. I love this highlighter for me. Ooh, hello, hello. I'm loving this. Like, I, I love this. I love this formula. It definitely gives me like a wet, dewy effect and look. It's not chunky. It is not glitter. It's it's like I came here to shine and shine I shall. Like this is so pretty. Okay, I do really love this. I'm hoping that this is like something that she makes permanent. I know that this is a limited thing. There will not be any more of these bundles, but I'm not certain when she said it's limited that it will be a limited like these items so I don't know if these will come out and like because I know she's going to be launching a lot she said this year so I wonder if this is going to be something that you can buy later on so this is definitely a plus for me loving that so we're going to go in to finish the eyes these are called those highlighters by the way were called let me tell you what they were called highlighter that they're just called highlighters <laughs> they have like a you know cute name so this is the Loose Glimmer Powders. I'm going to swatch all of them, but I will not be putting all of them on my eyes. I only have two lids, so <laughs> jot that down. So this is the Unicarton for the Loose Glitter Shimmer. And then we have the packaging. This is cute. I will not lie, like this is definitely something adorable. I feel like this, this was definitely more thought put into it than this. This is cute, it's fine, whatever. But this is very cute. It's plastic. It's heavy. It's nice. And I love the J's on it because like I get it. It's for Jacqueline. But like I'm Jamie. So it kind of works out in my favor. So I might have to display these. It is so pretty red. Like the red is so gorgeous. So I'm wondering if these are like her moon, moon dust. I don't freaking know. Ascent, accent. I don't know. The little highlighter. I have it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't know where I should go. So this is the High Volt Loose Highlighter. It was like accent high powder. I don't know. It was so weird with this launch. She called them different things. Like one was Moonlight, but that's not what it's called on the container. And I believe this one was like Ascendant Accent, but it says Loose Highlighter. So I didn't really understand this whole naming process. Like it doesn't matter. That's not a big deal. But I just want to compare this powder to the new powder. So we're gonna put the new powder up in here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. It's glitter. It's just fucking glitter. No, God, please, no, no, no! Face, I'm trying to do it without getting it everywhere, but it's just glitter hopefully you were able to get that and i'm not saying it's not beautiful like i get it some people love the shit out of glitter uh i'm not one of those people also she said you can use these like everywhere on your cheeks on your eyelids 
I would not recommend using this on your cheeks if you like that glitter, that like chunky glitter moment, um, fine. Do you, baby? But I do not enjoy glitter on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch her loose highlighter. So you can definitely tell it is not the same. I just wanted to show to give comparison. So this is definitely more of a fine milled, beautiful highlighter. It's one of my favorite highlighters actually. And this is glitter. This is a chunky pixie dust. That's, that is what the vibes I'm getting off of it. Uh, I definitely think that it would make a good topper, <laughs> but definitely not going on my face. So we're gonna put it on our eyes eventually, but that one was all lit up. I'm going to swatch the other ones for you. Like even tossing it in here into the lid, it's like going into the, I'm gonna have glitter fucking everywhere. I'm not, that I'm not okay with. I mean, it's not a big deal if you love glitter, but I don't love glitter. I'm covered in glitter. Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Mm, we didn't ask for this, girl. It looks like I literally have fucking pixie sticks on my hands. The first one came out pretty easy. This one is called Light the Way, and it just literally dumped into this lid. Where the second one, which was Light Show, literally would not come out for nothing. I was waiting to show you, but this is Light the Way, and then these are the other ones. This one seems like it has a much thicker formula, and like almost like that loose highlighter that I showed you. This one definitely has a different formula. So this one is all lit up. This one is light show. This one is light the way. And then this one is I'm so lit. So they're very pretty. All lit up is like a silver pink. Then you have a light show, which is like a rose gold. And then Light the Way is like a white, I wanna say like a white yellow. And then the one that I actually like the most is the last one, which is I'm So Lit, because it's definitely double, sh it's like a duo color. So one way it looks gold, and then another way it looks pink. So that one's very pretty, I think. So I did my eye look, obviously for the most part off camera. I used the Huda Nude Nudes palette. So I'm gonna go in with that concealed that she has in the palette because I feel like you're definitely, in order to keep this as a topper or put it on as a topper, it's gonna have to have some kind of eye glue, um, eyeshadow glue, like glitter glue or concealer. You're gonna want to have it sticky because if not, it's gonna make a mess. And I'm also gonna have to put so much powder down here or something to make sure I don't get glitter all over my face. Okay, so now that I have that on my eyes, I'm gonna go in, oh gosh, I think I'm gonna go in with a synthetic, very synthetic brush and I'm gonna wet it to pick up that glitter and hope that it doesn't fucking go all over my face. Prepped for the glitter. I'm gonna go in with, oh, I'm so lit because I like that one the most. And I'm gonna like bang her around. Oh, I think I banged it too hard. Oh yeah, I banged it too hard. Okay, it's fine. And I'm just gonna press and not breathe. It's actually really, really, really fucking pretty. It is definitely falling on my face, but this is really pretty. I feel like if you go in with a little at a time, you're gonna have less mess. I'm also packing and not swiping. That way I have less mess. And I'm just bringing that pigment over as far as I put that concealer. So if you can see, it's so pretty. Oh, I do love this. I really, I really, really like this. However, I made a whole hell of a mess in the lid when I banged it that hard. I forgot that like, <laughs> it would come out of the lid. These are kind of hard to close. I won't lie to you. I keep having some issues. I'm gonna try to use Twinkle for my inner corner moment because I feel like that's the only place I'm ever going to use this highlighter <laughs> is my inner corner. It's just too, too light for me. I don't mind it as an inner corner situation, but when it comes to being like an actual highlighter on my face, it's not gonna happen. It's just too, too light for me. Like Flurry's may be my next favorite highlighter for real. We're gonna move into lips. We have 24 karat. This is a lip gloss. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Unicarton. Very cute. It looks like it's gonna be gold. So we'll see. Probably like gold reflex though, I mean. Gold reflex, um, I don't mind the packaging. It just is a normal lip gloss. It's 
it's very square. I think I would have preferred it to be round. I don't think that matters though, but it doesn't seem gritty when I'm stirring it. It smells, it smells sweet. Kind of smells like it has a peppermint vibe though. I'm not gonna lie. It's sweet, but I definitely get a peppermint smell. All right, so I'm gonna swatch that for you guys. I feel like I'm not getting a lot when it comes to application. It's a thicker formula than I thought it was gonna be. I will say that it's not like sticky, but it's definitely thicker. Uh, you can't really see a lot of the glitter, I feel like. You could see just a little, but it's definitely one of those glosses that you're applying like all day long, I feel like. Do you know what I mean? There's glosses that you apply like once or twice and they last, where this one is kind of like, eh, the shine dulls down. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to swatch these next lip items. So here they are. You get three liquid lipsticks. These are long wear luxe matte color in three unique gorgeous red shades. So you have Clingy, Committed, and Boy Bye. Clingy is a very cherry red. Committed is more of a deeper red. And Boy Bye seems like it has kind of like a berry color to it. I'm going to go light to dark. This is the Unicarton for the lipsticks, which I am literally dying over. I think this is very cute. It's very sleek. I love that it's just like her name in white. And the red is just, it's so pretty. I do really, really love the Unicarton. Okay, smells like lipstick. And it has a doe foot, the kind of like curved one. All right, so we're gonna go in with Clingy. I was able to do this entire, like my entire lips with one dip. So that is not bad. This is definitely not cherry red. It's more of a coral red, which I love. Hello. I will say it dries very fast. Um, it was it was definitely a thin formula. I could feel how thin it was as it went on. It smells nice. It's not super sweet, but I do definitely feel like this is going to be very drying, like ColourPop. Like that's the consistency that it is. It's very thin when I put it on. However, like I said, it did cover my lips in like one dip, which is not, not very easy to do. I do want to try that. So it dries down fairly fast. That's from just sitting here for like a few minutes. Okay, so I do like that. Let's see, let's see how hard it is to get off. There is staining and that's normal. It's a red lipstick. It does that. Okay, so the next one is Committed, which is this little bit of a darker shade of red. I will definitely say I do love that I can do one dip. This is gonna last you a long time. Like this is one dip and it's covering my lips. So, I mean, I don't have obviously the fullest lips in the world, but they also aren't the smallest. So I think that it's pretty fantastic that it's covering all of it. And this shade, this is my shade. It's so pretty. I keep getting it on my freaking teeth. <laughs> this shade is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, it has like some pink undertone to it. I will tell you that I thought it was more true red and more of like a blue red from the package, but it definitely is more of a pink red. It has like some pink in it. It's not crazy, but it does have a little bit of pink in it. Let's go for the last one. Okay. So the last one is Boy Bye. I love the name. I love the name. This is the darkest red in the collection, which are my favorite. Looking at the doe foot, it definitely has some purple berry undertones. So I think that's going to be perfect with this eye look. Uh, but this is definitely, definitely my favorite one. I will say I think I will have to go in with a second layer for the darker one because it is patching up just a little bit in some spots here, but that happens with darker colors because it, like I said, it does definitely have a purple undertone. So I'm gonna hop off camera. I am gonna put my lashes on and then we will be right back for my final thoughts. So my favorite thing of the whole collection is the Flurries highlighter. 
I think that this is a stunning and beautiful highlighter. It is definitely going to look really good on many skin tones. I think that the way that it makes my cheeks look, it just looks so good. I like that it doesn't have a lot of fallout. I like the little mirror. Um, this is cute. It is cheap packaging, but it's cute. Like, I love the color. So I really do love the formula of this highlighter. So that was definitely my favorite. When it comes to these, I think... Honestly, in my opinion, this was a waste twinkle. I think that most people are not going to want or need a white highlighter. Like, it's just, it's it's not necessary. And I don't think it's going to be flattering on really anybody um, at all. I just don't. I don't think that a white, a full-blown white highlighter was the way to go. I do, however, really love the Flurries one. However, I'm kind of, this is strange. So I wonder if she did those loose powders over the flash palette because there's a white one, there's a yellowish one, there's the rose gold one, and then there's this one, which is Mesmerize, which is that pink gold one. So I wonder if her idea came from this whole like get up the set. I don't know, that's pretty cool. So the next thing I wanna talk about are the loose glimmer powders. I do think, that they are beautiful okay when i put it on my eyes like this is such a beautiful color it's it's stunning however i don't recommend you putting this on your face um 100 i know she said it in her ig and you guys are like jamie she said you can wear it on your face if you want to wear it on your face you can but what i'm telling you is this is going to be a hot freaking mess on your face you're gonna get it all over it's gonna make a mess you're gonna have just glitter now if glitter for days is your jam put it everywhere, have fun, throw it in the air and bathe in it. But for most people who do not want that glitter streak, I would not recommend using it on your face. I would recommend just using it as a laid color or topper. Honestly, this wasn't even a topper. I just put concealer down. This was like the actual shadow. So I would definitely say that this is nice for that. I wish it wasn't as messy because y'all know how I feel about glitter, but it's not a bad product, honestly. It's just kind of messy. Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is the lip gloss. I didn't like it. I, it's, I don't know. I hate that it's square. I don't know why. It's kind of sharp. I'm not gonna lie, when I was trying to do this, these corners were like stabbing into my hands. So I wish that it was round. I know that's kind of like petty and personal, whatever, it's personal opinion. But I don't, I just don't like this. It's too hard to get any actual pigment out. Like in order to get some, I have to like really, 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 really dip in there. My two favorite glosses or gloss formulas are the Gloss Bombs by Fenty and Lunar Beauty's um, lip glosses. I love them because you do get such a good amount, like that perfect amount on that one swap, where this one I feel is one of like a cheap gloss where you continuously have to dip it and dip it to really get your lips to look glossy. And they're not gonna look like that juicy glossy, they're just gonna look like shiny. And then it kind of dolls out pretty fast. So if that one comes out, I would say skip that one. Then last items are the lipsticks. How do I feel about the lipsticks? I love them. Honestly, first of all, I am a lipstick queen. Okay, we know it. I own over 500 lipsticks. Second of all, I love red. Red lipsticks are just like, oh, my jam. And considering the first one I put on was a coral red, I was like, Ooh, already my favorite, don't care don't care it is amazing i love 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 the colors i love that they are red i think the packaging is pretty i love that literally one swatch covered my entire lips they are fairly thin they're not a thick formula i will tell you my favorite mattes are still from lunar beauty because they are a soft matte so it doesn't dry down 100 percent where these dry the freak down I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, but I definitely am gonna wear it and I have a feeling it may start to crumble. And that's with any super, super dry matte lipstick. So that's not, 
anything new, if you see anything where people are like, oh my god, her lipsticks were crumbling, that happens with Huda on me, that happens with Kylie on me, it happens with Colourpop on me, it happens with a lot of super, super matte formula lipsticks. So these, it's not going to surprise me if it crumbles a little bit. But right now, it's very comfortable. My lips are moving. They're not stiff. See, I don't know why I did that, but I'm just letting you know. So I do really like these. I would definitely say that the highlighter and the compact and the lipsticks were my favorite two things out of the whole shabam. So I would definitely say this was a good, good launch. I really enjoyed most of the stuff. I think that most people are going to enjoy it. So if you were able to get anything from the launch, whether it was the small one, the medium, or the big one, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts on it. If you don't like Jacqueline, then just move on. It doesn't, if you love Jacqueline and you don't like my thoughts and opinions on it, then just move on. It's okay. But if you did get it, let me know what your thoughts are down below. What was your favorite item? If you didn't get it, please let me know down below what item I showed you. Are you hoping that she makes permanent so you can try it? Let me know. Let me know. So that is it for this video today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five beauty videos every week and one blooper every Saturday. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.